Bundy's Garage Bundy here. Today we're working on a uh, 2001 Acura MDX. This will probably also work for your pilots, maybe your Odysseys, maybe some of your Ridge Lines. But we're doing the rear brake pads on this vehicle right here, getting off the uh, obviously I have the wheel off, the tire off already. If you guys can't figure out how to do that, then you probably shouldn't be working on cars. But uh, I got a 12 millimeter wrench right there, and I have to get out the two caliper, the two uh, slide pin bolts out. Uh, what I'm doing there is I have a um, these the black needle nose pliers I just showed are really cheap and they kept like um, splitting to the side. They wouldn't line up correctly because they're super cheap. And w why I'm doing this is because the uh, slide pin is actually moving on me and I can't get the bolt out, so I have to hold the uh, slide pin uh, with the uh, needle nose vice grips. So I'm showing you right there that it's kind of off-center right there. It keeps going off-center because they're cheap vice grip needle nose pliers. So I have to step up to is some vice grip, official vice grip needle nose pliers. I grab onto the uh, slide pin and then I'm able to uh, break the 12 millimeter bolt loose. So uh, if you cut, run into that problem, just get yourself a uh, needle nose vice grip and then lock onto it and then you're able to get the bolt loose. Uh, the reason I wanted needle nose, needle nose, is because uh, there's a rubber um, boot right there, and I didn't want the wider needle nose or not wider vice grips to rip that boot apart. So, um, just showing you the bolt. And then it's 12 millimeter. They're not very long at all. So get the top and the bottom ones off, and uh, once you have that out, you can get the caliper out, and uh, then you have access to the uh, the brake pads right there to the very top is the caliper and then the piston inside the caliper which you have to push back which I'll show you here in a second just popping out the uh, old brake pads I use um, Bosch quiet casts and I'll put a link in the description below of a full review I did on those um, the reason I'm replacing these is that they were getting low and the sensor uh, the metal sensor that touches the rotor was wearing or was hitting the rotor and making a screeching sound so there was some brake brake material left but not a whole lot so there are the slide pins one and two so you have to do is you have to clean off the old grease there's old uh, caliper grease hopefully they use the right grease and not the wrong grease you can't use axle grease on these um, you need to use a special formulated um, brake pin grease, brake silicone, and um, so I get some brake cleaner right there, spray it onto a paper towel and get all the old grease off. Uh, one of the pins has a rubber, uh, like a rubber holder, a rubber nipple, I want to call it, written no, more like a rubber sleeve on it. You can see it right there in my left hand. Those rubber, um, those rubber sleeves can swell up if you use the wrong type of grease. So if you use axle grease on there, it will, it will swell that rubber piece up. So what I always do, and I'll probably get some flack about this, some hate comments, I always cut those off. I don't care what kind of vehicle it is. I don't care if it's a Honda, a Toyota. I cut those things off because the last thing you want to happen is you go to do a brake job and that rubber piece has swollen because the wrong grease was used and then you're stuck fighting trying to get a caliper slide pin out. It's a hassle. It is a hassle. So... This is, the kind of, this is the kind of grease you need. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. It's a Permatex uh, full synthetic silicone grease. It's orange in appearance. But uh, you basically you just clean off the old grease off the slide pins with some brake cleaner. Get some of the new uh, Permatex grease into place. Rub it over, coat it over the pin. You're going to do the upper one and the lower one. And then... Uh, you're able to uh, you're able to have the caliper uh, slide in and out real nice like real nice like uh, do not get that onto the rotor or under the new brake pad surface the friction material do not get on the friction material do not get on the rotor if you do by accident spray it off spray the brake pad off with um, brake cleaner or the rotor off with brake cleaner this is all this this is also the same grease that you're going to use on the uh, the new hardware that you use where the where the brake pads uh, slide back and forth on. 
So just cleaning off my hands right there. Took an old uh, brake pad, put it up to the uh, piston caliper, the piston inside the caliper, I should say, and got a C-clamp and just slowly, uh, I sped this up, but I'm just slowly pushing the uh, piston back in the caliper to make room for the new brake pads. Also, a good thing to do is when you're done is check uh, your uh, brake, brake fluid reservoir as well. Make sure that's at the correct level. So I'm popping off the old hardware. This hardware is used for the brake pads to slide back and forth on. The uh, Bosch QuietCast kit that I got comes with new hardware, which I'm putting in right there. The only thing you need to make sure that you do when putting in new hardware is that make sure that it bottoms out. Make sure that it's seated correctly. Because if it's not and it's sticking up a little, then your brake pad will get stuck won't slide correctly it'll get stuck in there and then where the brake pad actually um, there's little like ears on the brake pad and those ears go into the where the hardware is uh, you need to grease on the slides where the ears of the brake pad go it'll make more sense once you guys get in there but uh, here I'm just pushing up on top on the top uh, hardware to make sure that it's seated correctly So just getting my uh, Permatex silicone paste out again, putting into the slide areas of the uh, new hardware, the new slide hardware, I guess you could call it. Like I said earlier, if you get on the rotor, spray it off. Do not let that uh, do not that do not let that silicone paste stay on the rotor and you know contaminate the new brake pad material. Okay, so I'm bringing in the new brake pads. The, uh, on this particular vehicle, the sensor goes on the inside towards the bottom, which you can see right there. And I'll bring in the uh, front brake pad. Don't touch the new, uh, don't touch the, the brake pad material, friction material with your greasy paws. Make sure your hands are semi-clean or your gloves are semi-clean. Getting the bolts back into place to mount the caliper back in. You might need to jiggle and move the uh, caliper around a little bit to uh, line up with the uh, pin correctly. That's what I was doing right there. And start it by hand. Always start it by hand. And then um, doing the top one as well. You have to move, make some small adjustments for the caliper to line up correctly with the pin, which I'm doing right there. And then... Uh, And then I'll go in there with a with the uh, with the uh, I can talk with the wrench, the 12 millimeter wrench, and snug it down. They don't have to be super tight. You just need to make sure that they're snug and that they're uh, you know in place, snug down correctly. And I think the torque spec is like 16 to maybe 22 foot pounds, so I just snug them up. And then uh, once you do that, just making sure all the, everything's good to go, all the brake pads are in. Make sure you don't put the brake pads in um, backwards because you'll have metal and metal. And then after you do that, just uh, go to the, go to the uh, brake pedal. Push the brake pedal 10 times because you have to have the pistons come out and meet with the new brake pads and you're good to go. So hope that's helped you out.